and welcome to Sway TV, a show created for the youth, by the youth. I am Maurice Turner, and I'm with the world-renowned cyclist, Mr. David. Hey, Hello. Mr. David. Hello, how are you doing today? Uh, it's nice to meet you, Mr. David, and I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions today, you know, keep you occupied. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. What is the Cycle of Peace, and what made you create it? Sure, great question. Uh, the Cycle of Peace is an initiative that works with uh, young people and communities across the country. So we are here in Chicago, we're in, in Atlanta, uh, we're in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we seek to be in Los Angeles, uh, first quarter of 2016. And uh, we teach young people uh, social media responsibility, uh, life purpose, life cycle uh, purposes, and also physical cycling as a meditative art form. So it's actually a triple entendre, meaning it has three different meanings, and uh, the title uh, encompasses those meanings. Oh, sweet. And what made you become a cyclist? Well, uh, in another world, I worked in the entertainment industry, so I worked with a lot of artists, uh, Usher, Ludacris, uh, T-Pain, mm -hmm. you know, all these guys, and, you know, working on the music, you know, pr producing concerts, things of that nature, and I was, you know, part of that whole uh, food chain. Mm -hmm. And so I had a revelation. Uh, actually, the revelation was uh, preceded by uh, Adia Pendleton uh, being shot after school and I moved to Chicago from Atlanta and so you know you keep hearing on the news about our community constantly uh, being killed in the streets and you know I looked at what I was doing my daily activities and versus what was going on with our young people and I yeah and I'm a father as well so you know, I said, you know, I need to help create a world that I would like to see my son be able to grow up in. And, you know, and then obviously living here in the city, you get a chance to interact with uh, our community in such a, a divided, divided city. And you see and understand why our community is being denied access to basic resources, uh, denied basic access. And so uh, I heard the calling to create an entity that could help uh, bridge the gap. And so that's what my motivation was. And do you have any plans with the youth? Like, is there a plan for them? Well, I think us sitting here and having a conversation uh, should answer that question. <laughs> uh, I take out my time during the day and make sure that uh, we have a platform dedicated uh, to mentorship, to uh, conflict resolution, uh, towards proper breathing techniques that can help you uh, deal with everyday life challenges. I think we actually, uh, while we were chatting over there, I think I shared some of that technique with you. Yeah. And these are techniques that help uh, help you deal with the challenges that are always going to come to you. Because mm -hmm. life is a series of always doing something, always staying busy. Uh, and so with the busyness and with the activity, you're going to always be met with something uh, to resist you. Yeah. And so you need to understand how to transcend those challenges in a peaceful way. What was the first thing you did after your little tour? Well, first of all, I don't think that was too little. What we did was we cycled from Chicago to Washington, D.C. Yeah. And uh, that was seven states, uh, over 800 miles, 850 miles to be exact. Yeah. Uh, and that was a uh, time spent on an open highway. So, uh, you know, just to refer to it as little, I think, diminishes the actual accomplishment of it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that was myself, two other gentlemen, Lala Bella and Azure BK. Uh, these gentlemen were committed to the mission. The mission was to set an example uh, to our community about uh, the level of resolve and focus that's required to change your lifestyle, to, to take yourself from one place to another and a level of mental clarity that's required to do so. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask, why are you cycling? Yeah. Well, a lot of it has to do with me finding my own peace yeah. because I have to deal with a lot of the things that everybody else has to. And, you know, for me, cycling is an elixir. It just so happens... Uh, I like challenges, so I create bigger challenges for myself in, in the form of cross-country treks. And so with the opportunity to uh, attend the Million Man March 20th anniversary, I said, what can we do that would set, set our activity apart? I mean, I could have flow, flown in, driven in, caught the train in, but I have a bike and I like riding it. And so uh, myself, Cosette uh, Israel with the Love Institute was a wonderful community partner. You know, kudos to her for producing this wonderful show. Uh, came up with logistics on how that could happen. Yeah. And uh, myself and the two gentlemen, 
uh, left uh, Chicago on September 28th with the goal of arriving October 10th mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. Uh, thank you for the uh, inspirational conversation, Mr. David. I just want to close out by saying my name is Maurice Turner, and thank you for tuning in to Sway TV.